Hello, my name is Dr. John Wilson. I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine here at Mayo Clinic and a consultant within the Division of Infectious Diseases. Thank you for joining us today. I'd like to briefly describe a manuscript that Dr. Dean Sukiyama from the University of Minnesota and I recently published titled Extensively Drug-Resistant Tuberculosis, Principles of Resistance, Diagnosis, and Management. This is meant to serve as a general overview on drug-resistant and especially extensively drug-resistant tuberculosis, the principles of drug resistance, diagnostic approaches, general principles of management, and with this information, where do we as healthcare providers go from here? This manuscript is not meant to be an encompassing, exhaustive review of the treatment of tuberculosis, but we do provide um, some general guidance of drug-resistant tuberculosis management. It's important to keep in mind that the management of drug-resistant tuberculosis still should be done in consultation with a provider with expertise in drug-resistant tuberculosis management. Although the numbers of tuberculosis diagnosed within the United States are gradually declining, the cases now are becoming more complex and drug-resistant tuberculosis remains an entity that is ever so present throughout the United States, including the upper Midwest as well. Multi-drug resistant tuberculosis is defined as an organism resistant to isoniazid and rifampin. This article focuses on extensively drug resistant tuberculosis, which not only is an organism resistant to isoniazid and rifampin, but also to a fluoroquinolone and an injectable as well. Diagnosis of drug resistant tuberculosis is paramount and needs to be done as promptly as possible. The manuscript reviews a number of different diagnostic platforms, including phenotypic assays, which utilize both solid and broth media for the, res for the diagnosis of resistant tuberculosis, but it also discusses an up-and-coming field of genotypic detection of drug resistance, or in essence, the detection of DNA base pair mutations that can correlate with clinical drug resistance. These strategies are very important because the more rapidly we can diagnose a resistant tuberculosis organism, the more quickly we can ascribe appropriate therapy for that individual and minimize infectivity to others. Drug-resistant tuberculosis is a, is a problem internationally. The World Health Organization has made some fairly substantial strides into both the identification and containment of drug-resistant tuberculosis. The manuscript also describes current World Health Organization approaches towards containment of drug-resistant tuberculosis. When patients with tuberculosis are diagnosed, it's important to review the risk factors uh, for drug-resistant tuberculosis because those patients are managed so very differently. First and foremost, any individual that has received prior therapy for tuberculosis becomes a primary concern that this individual may harbor a drug-resistant organism. Within that frame, individuals who may not be receiving medication via directly observed therapy or prescribers who may not be comfortable with tuberculosis and inappropriately prescribed incorrect regimens also significantly and collectively contribute to the propagation of drug-resistant tuberculosis as well. Internationally, there are significant supply chain pharmaceutical avenue problems regarding insurance of uh, effective second-line drug availability. So these efforts, these issues together uh, uh, collectively um, pose problems for tuberculosis management and also enable this to be an ongoing problem that we will continue to encounter here in the United States. For these issues, we felt that this type of manuscript was very important to write, uh, important to circulate amongst our clinical colleagues, and to add to the discussion of how all of us collectively as health providers can help rapidly diagnose and effectively manage drug-resistant tuberculosis disease. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.